Hey everybody, it's Doug with JOB.com. I got a little present in the mail today, so I thought I'd do an unboxing on the internet here for you. Uh, it is my brand new Panasonic Lumix ZS3 camera. And uh, an amazing, I, I literally just uh, ordered this about a day and a half ago. It was in the afternoon two days ago, and it's sitting on my doorstep already. So uh, it's amazing how quickly it came. But uh, let's start with a knife and open up this thing and, uh, and see what we got inside. So first start by cutting off this packaging here from, you know, from its journey. I think it came from uh, New Jersey. Uh, I live in Charlotte, North Carolina. As I said, a day and a half after I ordered it to receive it is you know, pretty intense. But uh, let's see what we got as we open this up. First we got some packing paper, uh, my bill of receipt, and we have the Lumix camera here, right here. So let's pull it a little bit closer and see what we got inside the Lumix camera itself. Yeah, the box. Panasonic ZS3 Lumix camera here. Uh, it's a point and shoot that uh, I've been reading about. I've literally never even seen one of these uh, in person. I was just going by all the reviews that I read on the internet because none of my local uh, Best Buys or what have you carry this camera. So I had to order it sight unseen. So let's see what we've got as we open up this box here. So as we open it up, We've got uh, some instructions, it looks like, or at least you know, on the, the box instructions here. I see a CD, which uh, uh, this right here is the digital or the Panax Lumix digital camera, uh, a fun, or I'm sorry, Photo Fun Studio 3.0, which obviously has their drivers. Uh, I'm sure it also has uh, some, you know, probably some basic video editing uh, software involved. Uh, here is the, the meat of the, the manual for the you know, for the you know, for this uh, camera here. Uh, I will be looking at that probably some other time. But as we open this up, it looks like we've got a bunch of little goodies in here. Uh, the very first thing looks to be a battery and a battery case. In fact, it just popped out there, so I'm guessing this is a protective cover for my battery if I have multiple batteries. Uh, this right here looks to be the charger, which it is. Uh, with this charger, okay, there's the battery, of course, would fit inside this little charger. We've got a little uh, retractable uh, plug there to plug in and, and to charge it. Uh, over here, we've got some cables. Uh, it appears that we have uh, a USB cable, which obviously would connect the camera to my computer for downloading. And then uh, we've got uh, some composite, uh, you know, camera to composite cables here so that you can connect it to your television. Uh, there's a little lanyard, strap lanyard here, uh, which I'll be putting onto the camera. And interesting, uh, in the case itself, or with the camera, it seems to be in a little, like, cheesecloth. In fact, it's got a little plastic holder there to keep it, uh, you know, nice and, and, and safe. And as we pull this out, let's see what we've got underneath all this cheesecloth. Oh, and I'd actually, they've got uh, several different colors for this camera. Uh, they've got one, the, probably the major, majority of people who would be buying this would be in a black, which looked very, very sharp uh, with uh, lots of little silvery bits. Uh, another one that they have is uh, silver. They've got one that is a really neat looking bright red. And I even saw one, I think it's just in Europe, but uh, it's also a brown. But the one that I ordered was a blue camera. So, here is the blue Lumix. And, uh, and I have to tell you, uh, this is very, very cool. <laughs> uh, I mean, as I said, this is literally the first time I've ever held one in my hand. Uh, very, very neat. It's, it's actually metal. I don't believe this is plastic here. Uh, the screen on the back looks absolutely huge. And uh, what we're going to do is maybe take a, a quick little tour of this camera and see what we've got with the Panasonic Lumix ZS3 camera. Okay, so let's look at this in detail. Uh, on the front, pretty much standard fare for any point and shoot. You know, a, you know, a flash, your sensor over here. Uh, but what's most important to me is this little L right down here. Uh, that stands for Leica. And any of you who are a you know, camera buff, you're probably very familiar with the brand Leica, you know, a very high brand out of uh, Europe. But uh, Leica provides the lenses for this, and I believe some other components. Uh, Panasonic actually then does all the electronics and the manufacture of it. But uh, you know, if we're turning around on this side, the left-hand side of the camera, there's really nothing there. Uh, on the back, of course, is the big, huge, uh, beautiful screen. Uh, it's a three-inch LCD screen. Uh, the and I, I don't know exactly if it's like dot pitch or if it's uh, dots per square inch, but this uh, it's a 460,000 dot uh, resolution, 
Whereas most cameras, and once again, high-end cameras like Canons and, and Sony's and so on, uh, their display on the back is usually about like 250, 260. So it's got almost twice the resolution on the back, which makes it beautiful to view. Uh, as we go further down here, we've got the display button, a menu button. Uh, this is very, very nice for me. I prefer this. It's not a disc that you, for your menu selection, you know, that you're pushing up, down, left, right. Uh, so many times when you have a disc, you know, it's, you may be wanting to go up as you're going through the menu system, but it goes off to the right or, or, you know, or, or not where you're wanting to be. This one within the silver, you know, area, the silver circle, there are actually five dedicated buttons, up, down, right, left, and a center enter button. So I really like that. Uh, this button here, this little red button, is a really neat button. That is actually the videotape record. So unlike most cameras where you have to turn dials and so on to go to movie mode, this one you can be shooting pictures, and then if you want to hit uh, record, boom, you just hit the, you know, the, the record button and you're instantly shooting video. Uh, the very top uh, toggle switch here is uh, between uh, shooting or recording, and then that would be playback. Uh, on the top, uh, there is a, you know, a dial selector here, and that's just for the photography mode. Uh, you've got uh, your you know, wide and telephone. In fact, now I'll go and turn the camera on. There's a toggle switch here for turning it on and off. But uh, just to give you an idea of what, uh, what a 12 times zoom looks like on a point and shoot, I mean, it goes out there pretty far. And uh, I said, and you're really, really neat. Uh, but uh, and another thing that's very important to me uh, with this camera is uh, the the shutter button is actually uh, raised. It's not flush. And a lot of times, you know, they like you know when a manufacturer is making it, they'll try to make it flush to make it seem more streamlined. But I actually think uh, why so many people are having troubles with their their point and shoot cameras is when they try to take a picture and they're pushing down. I think they're actually moving or jiggling the camera somewhat because of those flush buttons. This one is elevated. There's actually a little bit of play on it. So uh, I mean, it, it's just a lot nicer for to me, and I think it would you know cause less fuzzy shots. Uh, continuing on, we've got our microphone, uh, and it's set on the top, and it's a stereo mic. It's a left and right stereo. It's not a mono. Uh, and why that's so nice is, uh, once again, so many cameras in this class, they usually just have a mono. And normally, the, uh, the microphones will be on the front of the chassis, whereas if you're shooting, especially if there's wind blowing by, you know, it causes that, you know, that buffeting sound, which is horrible. Uh, being on the top, it's supposed to reduce that. And once again, it's also stereo. Uh, these little buttons, or I'm sorry, these little holes here are actually the speaker, uh, so for playback. But uh, once again, really, really nice camera from what I can see. Uh, I'm looking forward to shooting, and what I will be doing, and, and why the, uh, the, you know, the video is so important to me, is that uh, I have a, a job website that I've created. I'm trying to help out as many people as possible in job search you know, during this really stressful time, and it's called job.com. But I do video edit, uh, updates to it all the time, and, uh, or I'm wanting to do that, I should say, <laughs> and that's the reason why I bought this camera, so that I can continue to do that. And I wanted to shoot it in a higher format, like a, like a you know, HD, or at least a very good quality uh, V. GA and letterbox, but uh, as I said, I'm really looking forward to seeing the capabilities of this. But I will be shooting uh, some sample video both in standard definition and high definition that you can see just to see uh, you know, what the quality is, and I will be having that on YouTube. So I hope you enjoyed this tour of my Panasonic Lumix uh, S, I'm sorry, ZS3 camera, and I look forward to showing you more.